And this road sign here does exist. It's in South Australia. It reads, internet access one kilometre ahead. And I think it shows what the Australian population, and indeed many populations around the world, think of broadband. I go home, I log on, I log off when I go to bed. I go to work, I log on, and I log off when I go to bed. Broadband can actually change the way we live, work, and play. It can change the way we do agriculture. It can change the way we transact with government, with financial services, with mining, with health, with education. The challenge is moving the country and the nation from using internet, media, and communications, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, to all the new and exciting opportunities that lie ahead. So what are the sorts of things that we can see coming in the future? Well, the home area network is one um, area that has received a lot of attention in Australia, and I believe in the UK. Particularly in the energy space, the use of smart metering has a real potential to transform the energy sector through the use of machine-to-machine -machine communication to help not only the energy sector monitor and manage their own services, but the end consumer to manage their energy consumption in the home, whether it's turning on or off lighting or managing dish dishwashers and the times they're turned on and the like. There's a whole host of other services that could sit on a home area network from health um, applications, for example, monitoring chronic disease such as diabetes and uploading information to, to general practitioners and carers, entertainment content service providers, education providers, and the list goes on. I think there are three very real opportunities in Australia right now. The first is very obviously contracts with National Broadband Network and also the contractors that the National Broadband Network is, uh, is contracting with. The second opportunity is for uh, market disruption. We've got 21 million people that are having a network rolled out past their door, and they're thinking about churning. Do I want to go onto the net national, network, uh, national broadband network? Do I want it connected to my home? And if so, do I want to change retail service providers while I'm at it? So I think there's a very real opportunity for a retail service provider to enter the Australian market and potentially take a very large market share during this process. The third opportunity, I would say, would be for small, innovative companies to come in and challenge what I termed the application service provider market in e-health and e-education. And there are many firms that are already on the ground showing that these opportunities are very real. There's some very exciting opportunities, but it's also a very young market. And I think that means that Australia is an incredibly exciting place to watch. Clearly from uh, the members of my organisation, there, there, there are sort of two interests. One is. Uh, the potential to be involved in the in the in the, the building of the network itself. Um, so a lot of people with uh, network expertise, technology expertise, uh, certainly very interested from that perspective. But I think then it, on, on the next level, there's lots of interest in uh, the services and applications that could run over the network. Um, the the kind of issues that um, that are being looked at, whether it's telehealth, uh, whether it's um, uh, better environmental services, um, things like smart grid. But they're the same issues that we're looking at in the UK, uh, but clearly um, when you've got a, a real true next generation network, you can do things differently. So I think there are a lot of people who are very interested in uh, looking at you know, potentially trialling, testing um, um, uh, innovations uh, in, in Australia.